much, uh, P.R.O. Amen. Uh, our dear spiritual fathers in the house. Family members of World Trumpet Mission. A family member you know, World Trumpet Mission. I'm Cyrus Taewa. I'm so much connected to Gideon. Uh, because uh, uh, he, he recent he had recently joined our cross culture marriage. Kubanga ye gata muna mobufumbo faba wasa mobuangu obulala. And I was the coach. Enzena mutendeka. I've, uh, I prepared him for this marriage. And my wife was the matron on the wedding. Just last September. And uh, we were looking so forward to see great fruits from this uh, great man of God. However, we are so much encouraged that uh, he has graduated and all of us, I'm sure we know that this world is not our final destination. And we are not permanent here even though we build permanent houses, trying to build uh, everything, but we are not permanent here. But praise be to the name of the Lord that all of us believers in Christ, there is hope and there is a destiny. One day I was so much discouraged in 2018 when I lost my mom. She died of a cancer. Cancer, yamutuala. And immediately after death, Era I had prayed for 15 days, praying and fasting together with all my key intercessors. Narindi mukusaba na kukumi nata na wamu na abega irizi. That God will restore my mom. Eranga tu saba mama azukire ya komewo. But she was not. Na yete yada. And I lost total hope on praying for the people who are suffering from cancer. But uh, at one point after like two weeks, someone called me and said, come and pray for my father. Unfortunately, I did not inquire to know what she is sick of. I just walked. Guess what happened? In the same room where my mother was, that's where that man was. I looked for the way out, but I could not find it. I just prayed to encourage them and my brother for 15 minutes and then I left the room after three days the man went back for testing the cancer which was on, four, on stage four they found the man with no cancer and uh, I was he, the man came mad in the church and said you prayed for my dad and he got healed I have come to get seriously saved there is God in this church on the side of my mom I had prayed for 15 days praying and fasting all these prayer machines that are on try on here on prayer mountain they all joined me there but we did not achieve the success. But on the other one whom I did not even pray or fast. God did a miracle. 
when I, I when I inquired from the Lord and say, why would we pray for 15 days and you did not respond? I had many questions. Maybe also you have many questions. But this is the answer I received. When I prayed and God told me, three things remain. Faith, hope, and love. And I said, now is this the answer? Such a moment may take our hope totally down. May take our face down. But three things remain. We are still here, brethren. The church is still here. Your face is still here. I can assure you. We are going to pray once again. We always pray for people to resurrect. We pray for people to rise. We pray for people to be healed. Don't be discouraged by one thing that God has done. Even today where we are, I was talking with my mama, Rusubira Wahi. She said, before we do anything, let us first believe God for resurrection. That's what, that's what she told me. She's, she's there. I'm not lying. Where, where is she? She said to me, said, before we do anything else, let us first pray for resurrection. I said I agree with you. Let us pray for resurrection. If resurrection doesn't happen today, then it will happen on the last day. But at least let's first try. How many are saying we can try? Our faith is still standing in the name of Jesus. The faith cannot expire. Can you look at someone and say, Faith cannot expire? Hope cannot expire. The love cannot expire. And even today, our love for this ministry will not expire. The love for Christ will not expire because someone has gone. Because we know one thing, the heaven is better than this earth. How many are saying the heaven is better than this earth? So if someone goes to heaven, he has gone to the better place. But, uh, but since we still have assignment here, we have to fulfill it. That's why we are here. And I want to thank God uh, we, are, we are with you in this moment but this moment is preparing us for, the, for heaven if you are just walking squared in salvation you better watch no one knows the day no one knows an hour. Because in the days of, of, of Adam, years were 900 and above. In the days of Noah, years were lowered to 120. In the days of David, years were lowered, that is in Psalms 19, years were lowered from 120 to 70. But in our days, the days of revelation, the Bible is saying, Behold, I am coming soon. So we don't know our soon. And that's why I want to encourage you, standing before my spiritual parents, that we are, God is coming soon. If the soon of, of Gideon was, is now, I don't know you are soon. 
I don't know my soon. God bless you so much.